beautiful people out that day yes i'm back again with another video i hope you people are doing okay now a nigerian man sentenced to 10 years imprisonment for london for forcing himself on a woman like it is guangua somebody now the story the lady see a, a, a car or a taxi like car the motor be like taxi now she can't stop and then this man now no say he no be taxi oh. and then he stop and carry the lady the lady don't tell her where they go the lady don't sit down for back op say or feeling relaxed say in day for taxi and na odd hour and then the guy don't drive around the guy can't they do like say if they find where want to buy for it they run out of for it the lady not if say something they in mind or she not if say the guy now any threat till the guy come down for a taxi and then he jump at the lady like he just pounce on the lady and force himself on the lady and then the lady go police station go report they take the lady to hospital go check whether somebody actually tempered there yeah, and they see see everything where she talk my truth she described the motto as the motto she take be like a um, taxi that's why she enter she described the person and the person a notorious person even as they describe the person be like say they don't arrest the person time without number nigerian person no so go so kind now kurukere movement where the guy they do up and down the family go take park where people know they so go fit to what you want to do all these streets camera don't already take her and when the lady describe the motto and describe the guy they can't define now then they find now and she described the area when you be like say they take the or the area where the thing they happen they can't go there they can't see same street camera where they for that area don't already capture the guy and the motto which i'm going to put that um thing here where they take see her for the street camera they can't arrest her then they take sentence her to 10 years imprisonment for waiting do the woman when i see this particular news i was in kind of happy but be like i don't know whether i miss feeling i will say they do me i feel say now this one a good punishment or nice punishment for people where they do this kind of thing now waiting maybe most ladies they need for nigeria but now what they know they get i know they talk about this lady of yesterday where they say he do me this he not do me this he forced himself for me he gave me drink i don't know the time when i take he follow i enter my room he do me this inside my room and all that i'm not even talking about this girl because this girl is not serious to say this girl is serious enough the way she take poor crowd the way this thing content they go up for social media definitely she forget that justice where she deserve but she not serious the matter not clear and the thing they pepper and say people they you know people they support the guy not her and she now she be the victim before people go come they look saying you are the victim and they come they support another person you suppose no say your story no you know clear but anyway people there for nigeria even children this one a matured woman and man like this they get 10 years locked away for matured women, three years old children, will they see them, small, small children, nothing for Nigeria will be justice for them. Matured, matured men, their grandpa age, they go just they work out freely after stuff, they like that, what they do, nothing like that for Nigeria. That's not, not be the mixed feeling when I believe, say, I get over this thing. I just how we say this kind of justice feed day for Nigeria. Just five years period, you go see say some kind of men go they lock their long thing inside their long trousers. Just five years. But nothing. You know? Drop a comment down below what you think. Like, I don't know what I want to talk. Sounds this guy right too. Like, sounds this guy right. If we the year of Nigeria, 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 we know the year rubbish there like this. Me could not be another African country. Why must it be Nigeria? Nigeria men for Nigeria, know they let the small small girls and the rest. When I will come out for Nigeria, I can't go foreign foreign land. Una be foreign now, now come they see they do rubbish there like this. Why una long thing? No go just feed day for una long trouser. How hard can that be? Drop a comment down below what you think. This particular girl when I they talk now so. 
queenie she can't grant another interview apart from the one of yesterday somebody they ask um about the one thousand dollars where she first demand for the guy to give her and then she they try to rectify the matter by saying and eh, she's an artist if the guy wants to see him the guy support you know say this guy no one see you based on like the girl she they talk but the thing they sound more stupid even the people where she they talk to they will just say mm, mm, because Na, me and me they interview you are not going to get the mind to tell you say no babe this way they talk is it sounds stupid they will just ignore them mm, mm. you'll be artist and then you tell person say before you go appear they need to give you one thousand uh, they need to give you one thousand dollars or one thousand whatever my dear you know say this person now you hotel room now you want to appear she be you know say this one thousand dollar way they ask for now your hotel room you they go only una two no be soon they go discuss business on how you want to perform for one stage you know say this man a different thing and the man they want ask of this man no get any club where one way you perform in you know get any nothing like that but you they try to justify the fact say you ask him for one thousand dollar before you go appear or before you go come meet her, you they try to justify and we say I'm an artist, I'm an upcoming artist, uh, T.Y. Savage, if you want to talk to T.Y. Savage, you pay T.Y. Savage transport and all that. The first video where this girl do, she not talk and say she asked the guy for any 1000 You not talk and say you ask the guy for any transport. You talk and as if say the guy just do what he do without any of your consent. Why all this particular video? Because all this particular video, they make no sense of your first video in the show say you really really lie that's why they, they, they you now so now you be the the victim people they pass on you because they don't say you be really liar if you they lie for the first one waiting show say you know they lie for the second one and the third one and everything we they talk that's why people they attack this guy and she know they know drop a comment down below what you think i will put the interview where she they talk all these things and i will see you now eh, for my next video now, bye bye. The story is not very complicated. The story I met a guy in Abuja. He we exchanged numbers. I moved on. Couple of times he kept he kept on messaging me. Can I get to see you? Can I get to see you? Can I get to see you? You know those kind of stuff. And man, I'm very very difficult, man. Before you get to see me, there's a part of the conversation where he said. I said he has to pay one thousand dollars to see me. I'm an artist. I sing. Before I appear to you, you have to pay for appearance. There's nothing you're going to say about it. I don't care to know if it's a low show or not, but you just have to pay for appearance. I can't just walk up from my destination just to your place, just like that. For and he said it was even for a show, it made in Abuja, whatever, whatever show. So I told him you have to book my flight to and fro. You're inviting Tiwa Savage or any of these people, or is it because I'm an upcoming artist? Are you going to say Tiwa Savage just come like that? Are you not going to book a flight and make things available for her at the end of the day? So I even feel like one thousand dollars is even a very it's it's even too small for real. For real. It's too small because funny enough, I'm not cheap. I am very expensive. I'm saying it here. You can say I'm shameless and I don't fucking care. At the end of the day, I just want justice because what he did to me is inhuman. He actually took advantage of me. So, uh, so as it stands now, till now, nothing has been done. Till now, nothing. It's just been um, screenshot chats, people saying you're on Ulu show and all that. The only thing I that has been done I, I, is I don't, I don't, I don't get that. I don't get that part of somebody calling you Ulu show. I don't understand who will he pass. I want to know why would somebody call you a prostitute for somebody you coming out and saying somebody raped you and you somebody's calling you a prostitute and somebody yeah. uh, somebody's posting a chat it can be a past chat that you have with people i have friends i have good friends that i chat with okay i chat with them sometimes i talk about stuff like this he go tell me okay baba come now make we see i go tell you say you know go pay you go pay me to see me or will you buy my drink or will you people have such past conversations and they can use it for what is happening in the present do you understand i'm not saying i'm not saying the guy or you i don't know who is who's whatever whatever but at this at, at, at this point in time that country nigeria is so fucked up it's so messed up you know why because this thing has been going viral are you trying to tell me there's no military men here 
there's no as in are you trying only... to tell me there's no policeman here are you trying to tell me there's no journalist here are you trying to tell me that there's no security agencies or whoever or government officials that is seeing you in the state you are now are you not in lagos or abuja i'm in lagos okay whether you want one thousand dollar you want two thousand dollar can't they call you and invite you for questioning and also invite him what is the police and the law what are they doing it does not matter military sometimes take action it might be a military man and say no i want to pick this thing up yeah where are you guys let's just take our van take this girl and hand them over to the police it does not matter i'm just saying security agents in a nutshell whoever that has that power to go and take somebody because as a, a civilian i can't come and take you and say go to this station and start writing statement somebody should have that feelings like you are a human being where are you Nigeria. Oh Lord Jesus, this is crazy. Well, see, at the end of the day, the whole story that is telling is the fact that um, I probably agreed some some kind of money with him, and he didn't give me money, and I'm angry. You know, the funny part is I'm not a class chaser. Nobody. I was on my lane doing my music. I didn't care if you have to listen to me or not. I have never for once gone online to shade anybody. I barely comment on blogs. I am very quiet. I'm just living my private life. I like to do my things on a very low. So this, for me to come out, do you know what it takes? You, you don't, you guys don't even get what it takes for me to come out to say somebody did this to me. Like, you don't understand how much, how much pain I felt. I just thank God for people that called Echo Hotel because it was even a serious case. I was under uh, observation till this morning. They had to not let me go into my room because if I had fallen off the cliff at the end of the day, it was going to be a problem for a co hotel. I was going to be ruining their own brand. So the whole story was very, very, very complicated at the end of the day. But nobody cared to know the suicidal part of the whole thing, the impact it has had on me. Everybody's just saying, you're trying to tarnish a guy's image. Now, this same, this same particular guy, there are a lot of girls out there trying to still say the same story. I cannot wake up and start calling a guy a rapist if he's not a rapist. I won't do that. I'm not going to. I don't want to chase clouds. I don't freaking need the clouds right now. No, I'm not this really, kind of clouds. Why, why I'm calling you, why I'm making this video is this. I'm, after making this video, I'm going to put this video out. And uh, I have a platform whereby people can repost things for me. And all I'm, all I'm going to do is this. I don't know where the location you are in Lagos, but... We'll give that guy probably 48 hours to turn himself in. Exactly. I'm not making this video in vain. After making this video, I will make out an official statement out there. I will call one of my people in Lagos. I have my people in Lagos that I'm going to call. I'll probably give you a call too. You go and make an official statement in that station. That's number one. Number two, we will probably put out a statement and say he should come and defend himself. We are not calling him a rapist yet. Nobody's calling him that. You said that. That's your word against his word. Yeah. Then, once he appears, then it's now left for him to defend himself. But if he does not appear in 48 hours, that means automatically what you are saying is the truth. Unless he's not seeing the video. If he's somewhere now hiding, if he's somewhere now hiding, that means he's doing something wrong. Because clear conscience fears no accusation. If now one thousand dollar case, maybe now you you and I'm, you know, it's an agreement. Man, I don't support any kind of whatever, whatever. Nigeria no good. If if our country is giving us job, a lot of people will stop doing what they are doing. If Nigeria gives we people even 50,000 Naira job, like you are a graduate, you are earning 50,000 Naira, a lot of women will not be doing bad things. A lot of guys will not be doing bad things. Let's call a spade a spade. Any kind of name where you won't call me, call me, it's fine, it's good. But the frustration is with you people there, not with me. I'm good. I'm good over here. But that, country will, that country will frustrate you and put you in a position that you don't even know how to talk no more. You don't know how to think no more. You don't know. This young lady has been crying, coming on live for more than, close to 24 hours now, and nobody's doing anything about it. If it is answers now, you go post answers without having a vision of what you are posting. But if somebody is coming out physically, you they call her Mashawo behavior, this one behavior. Do yourself that is calling her out. Do you, are you better than her? 
what of that person where they call him Olo Show? This one, that one, he won't collect one thousand dollars. Tell him to come on life and 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 start and, and, and defend himself. Let him go to the nearest station and say, I've been seeing my pictures going viral. People are seeing my pictures. My videos are going everywhere. This is a assassination of character. This is a tarnishing of my image. This girl is trying to tarnish my image. I'm going to get her arrested. He should start acting that way. You can't post my picture and I'll keep quiet too. Because I will go and report you in the station and get you arrested for posting my picture. I'll go there and tell them, this girl wants $1,000 for me to sleep with her, but I don't have the money. But if I say the thing, they hungry me, I can't do them. After I don't feel pay. She wants them to rape. She wants to tarnish my image. Only so, if now $1,000 be problem, I will work for $1,000 and pay her her money so that my name will not go from $1,000 payment to rape. He should start acting that way. Please, can I just say something? The truth is that people don't understand what I'm feeling right now. You're not feeling what I'm feeling. You're just saying, everybody's just talking. You're not the one going through what I went through. You're not the one that had whatever happened. At the end of the day, the society is just always at the women. So everybody's going to say, you found yourself to a hotel. You found, um, how did you get to a hotel? Why would you go to a hotel? Come on. I like to enjoy life. Let me say it. If sometimes I just decide to go and give myself a luxury treat, it is nobody's business. It's just my life. It's what I want to do at the end of the day. So it doesn't justify that the fact that I leave my house or leave my state where I am to another state and I get a hotel to stay, a man will just come and rape me there and go for free and I'm supposed to keep quiet. It doesn't make any sense. I don't understand what you guys are saying, but you guys, you guys cannot fuck with my mind. That's the truth because... I am one of those people that are speaking out. You don't know how many other people that are in this situation, but they can't say it. But I'm going to keep saying it. And I know he's surprised that I'm still standing saying this because I can't just come out and keep forcing allegations on him just like that if he didn't do anything. So at the end of the day, he said, I sent him a message saying that if you don't come in five minutes, I'm going to change my mind. Bring this proof. You said you sent me 100K. Bring this statement. Bring everything. I want to see everything. Let everything be out properly. Like you don't just come out and start trying to paint the whole Olo show and Olo show stuff when that was not whatever happened at the end of the day. It's just crazy. And funny enough, I'm not scared of being called an Olo show. It's not a new thing. So at the end of right now what you what i want you to do is this you you send me a dm after this call hmm? i will yeah. call you i will call the authorities in lagos i won't buy your case why i'm buying your case is not because of i believe you or i believe him okay but you are a human being like me and I have a foundation that is called Reform Nigeria Orientation. That Reform Nigeria Orientation, we have to start doing something. That's something we are doing is what I want to do. That police people that don't want to call you to question you, or you that also want to go to the station to make an official statement, those are the legs, those are the steps that I want to take. First of all, make official statement and you go to the hospital. If you go to the hospital, if somebody penetrated you by force, that those are investigations that they're supposed to make. The police will take you to the hospital and see this thing happened when? This thing happened when? Two days ago or yesterday? 15th of December. 15th of December and today is 18th. I think today is 18th or something. Today is 18th, right? Yeah. You 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 ought to be doing they're supposed to take you to the hospital and get tests, get you tested. If something penetrated there by force, they would know. I went for a test. You already got you've already done that? First of all, first of all, I was suicidal. First of all, I didn't have any other thoughts. I was begging this guy, please talk to me. I begged him. I kept calling. I want to have a conversation with you. I want you to talk to me. I want to know what happened. I want us to talk because I didn't expect he could do such things to me. Like even in Trasco Hilton that day, it was so frustrating. I was running around like a mad woman trying to find somebody that I don't know where he is. To the extent that when I got to the counter, they told me that guy doesn't even have a room in the hotel. So I felt, you know, and his number was switched off. As in, okay, if you said I was your friend and we both, both of us had an agreement for real. Let's say we had an agreement now and we went out and we have had sex. Why did you switch off your phone the next morning to you evening? Why didn't you call me? Normally, would you check on your friend? You just left your friend, right? We're okay, right? You check up on me, right? 
why didn't you and why did you make a video of me without my consent so it means that all these things were planned out he actually knew what he was doing at the end of the day he just knew that this is what i wanted to do and it is really bad because you're not supposed to make a video of me for any reason i'm trying to build a brand that's you trying to tarnish my image and that's you tarnishing my image totally at the end of the day and that's serious that's very serious at the end of the day Ray, um, whoever that knows this guy should just put out. We'll, we'll find a way. I will. I will send my people, and I'll see what I can do to contact him in 24 for the eight hours. We'll question him. I will probably talk to you privately because Nigerian people, their mentality and how they think and how they call out people. I don't know whoever that is calling you names now. Maybe if they check the mileage of the things where you don't do this year, maybe you you've done only 20 percent. That person, if you don't do 100. You know, a lot of people are calling you whatever names they are calling you now. If they should blow the trumpet today now and say they say pe pe person will go heaven by, let's say God will say, okay, I forgive 50% of saints. I will only accept 50%. Most of them will still be in hellfire and you will go to heaven. Maybe your own never reach 50%. So why call people names? Why condemn people? I'm not condemning the guy, but I cannot justify rape. You are the only one coming out. He's not coming out. So we will find him for you. I no, he's me. out already. I don't know if you've not seen. He's out. He's he came out to speak. He granted an interview. Maybe you haven't heard this part of the story. He came okay, out. I'm, he's I'm, been I'm, out I'm, all this way. That that's not an, an online interview anymore. It's not going to be online interview. If he doesn't have money for transportation, or if he doesn't have money to find himself in that location that I want him to be, I'll make available money for him to be there and you to be there at the same time. So you guys will argue it face to face so that people will stop doing all these things that they are doing. Women in Nigeria are supposed to have their right and are always supposed to speak out when something bad like this happened to them. So I will, re I will reach out to whoever that is talking with him so that we will have somewhere we will be so that everybody will be in that same place. Whoever that is that, that has the concern, whoever citizen that wants to be involved should be involved. If the press wants to be involved, Thank you.